I can't resist them. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna get these guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going shopping at Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana. One of my favorite places to go, so let's go in and see what we can find. Right, right here I found a whole little area of littles. So, and these are the first things that I had seen. Oh my gosh. Look at the little chipmunk. These five dollars and the square squirrels are four fifty. So think about those. And then we've got a little Avon. This is an Avon skunk for four fifty. All right. Another thing I see down here. This is a little Kokeshi figure for three dollars. So I think I'm going to get her. And then we see some roosters. Gosh, I'm just still thinking about these guys. These little bone china zebras. Well, that one's not bone china, but this one is for $2.50. Look at his face. And we have a walrus. And a, oh, look, it says it's a leopard. So we're going to go with that. There's a little wall pocket there. And then we've got some turtles. These look like redware. Yeah. Redware turtles for five dollars. Some oranges. Oh, I just love all this stuff. These are kind of cool too. And let's see. What else do we have here? Some little birds. And Mr. and Mrs. Liberace. No. It's not Liberace, but Liberace would have a much fancier piano. The thing I'm going to pick up is this little pig planter. I just think that he's so cute. He's got a fun little face. He's $9.50. He's made in Japan, so I think I'm going to pick him up. I can't resist them, so I'm going to bring, I'm going to get these guys. See, this is what I like to see. Even the 10% off sale will get customers to take, you know, think about purchasing your items from your booth. So 10% sale is something. All right, I'm going to pick up this little Melmac cream and sugar set. For six dollars and fifty cents with ten percent off little cracker cookie tin sitting on the shelf i love the top of it, it doesn't have any markings on it but it's six dollars and fifty cents and i just really like it so i think i'm going to get the little cracker tin as well but the little high chair it's 28 dollars, which is a really good price but it's all metal isn't that so cute the little doll high chair i think it's precious all right, let's see what else we got in here. I don't have, I didn't bring my camera with me, so I'm using my phone today. Oh, babies. Ooh, hallelujah. This is Melody. They're $8. Oh, I like the, the one with the uh, St. Patrick's Day motif. Now with moving eyes. Oh, yeah, she's got some moving eyes. Yikes. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to get the babies today. It's a good price, though, but I don't think they're for me today. Oh, here's their mister. Mister, you're, you're, he's more expensive. He's $15, but he's a boy. Look at him. We should put him next to his ladies. Hey, ladies. Hi, ladies. This is beautiful. Decanter for $10.75. I don't want to ship that. Not going to do it today. Love, love this West Clock. I actually have this exact same one. This is $12, but these numbers around here, they will glow. But, oh, I just, I love it. And I love this jar. Parkale Pure Strawberry Preserves with the paper label. But look at the Art Deco lines here on that. It's also $12. like that a lot. This fun adding machine here. It's $12. It's a lithograph. It's just a fun thing. That would be fun for 4th of July display. 
don't know how it works though. What are you supposed to do? Place index finger on the slide hole. Here? Really kind of like that but and I also saw this little recipe spike for eight dollars I think I'm going to get that you can tell the age from if it doesn't have a screw down there and then I saw this little golden finch this is a Rubens planter it's just a florist planter for seven dollars and fifty cents but I was gonna check over the beak and see but I don't think there's any damage to it but see it's a little gold finch planter so I think I'm going to get that as well I love this marmalade this is a crockery orange marmalade this is old oh this is so cool though it is $45 which is what it is worth and then these cash register keys they're $10 each I'm half tempted I'm gonna just see what else I can find today but I really like those as well she has things in this booth. I guess it's the newer booth and it's decorated so nice. Everything. Just wanted to take a closer look. Old chicken feeder. And some uh, little chippy reclaimed wood pieces. Lots of neat things in this booth. The sewing machine drawers are $8 each, which is an amazing price there as well. Really nice things in here. One thing that I'm thinking about getting today is this old Taylor thermometer. These just look, look really good as a little accent piece. It is old, you can tell by the way that it is made. And the thermometer itself is glass. I like the Art Deco lines on that, and it is $4, so I think I am going to get that today. I think I'm going to move on. I see something else in this booth that I want, and that is this beautiful, look at the green color on this Olympic thermal thermos jug. I'm wanting this for a display in my house, and it is $10, so I'm definitely going to get that today. Booth 857 is one of my favorite booths here at Westbury. Lots of fun things. I've seen, seen a couple things just right off the bat that I'm looking forward to looking at. I see these cute little Bluebird salt and pepper shakers for $4.95 for the pair. There is a little chip on this guy. I'm going to think about them, but I really love the coloring on them. We have this little made in Japan little planter here the little air plant in that and you'll be good to go and look at this little dresser valet he's $24.95 now he's a lot different than the ones that we normally see we normally see the um the hot the wiener dog that has this it's really kind of a more modern look to it than this little guy but he's super cute and then i see some squirrels little squirrel salt and pepper shaker set there and these little guys um i'm not sure who needs them but they are six dollars and 95 cents this little canister is too cute the big walnut the squirrel and we've got some a breed specific dogs which is what i like to look for this is a Shih Tzu for four dollars and ninety-five cents. So I will get this one. I think this is a Frenchie. Probably it's fourteen ninety-five. And let's see, I've been buying a lot of birds lately, which isn't normally my thing. But I, for some reason, the birds are speaking to me lately. Well, this is a pretty collar. Aqua, Coronado Aqua Squirrel. Not a squirrel. Squirrel. Gravy boat. This is Franciscan. It sure is. I love that color. I don't think I'd use it as a gravy bowl. You know what I'd use it for, right? I'd put an airplane in there. 
I've got some paint depression glass. I do have my little light in my pocket, I do believe. Is it on my pocket? Look, Joni. I got it. So let's see. They glow. They glow. This one glows as well. Paint depression glass. Are you going to glow? You do not glow. Nope. But the green does glow. Here in one, another one of my favorite booths. And I keep thinking that that's a person standing there. It's freaking me out just a little bit every once in a while. But look at how happy that guy is. There's a lot of cool things in here. She's also having a 10% off sale. One of the things I wanted to show you, it is $24.99, but oh my gosh, look at the line. This is a century of progress. This is the, um, I think it was the World's Fair, 1933. But look at this bottle. Isn't this fun? Look at those Art Deco lines. Oh yeah, Chicago World's Fair. Oh, it's in Illinois. And then here we have a Murano Rooster for $49. And then, oh my word, I may have to, well, you know what though? I don't think that these are old. I think that these are reproductions. Uh, yeah, I'm not thinking that those are old, old. But, yeah, they've got some fun stuff in this booth. One of the things that I'm thinking about is this little April girl right here. Now, when I picked her up, I thought, oh, okay. And she's $8.50. Also, 10% off. But you see her hat. She has some petals missing. But honestly, though, she still displays pretty well. So... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get her or not. Here we have a May Angel for $9.50. This little guy for $16. I've had these Napco squirrels. No. Skunks. <laughs> before. $16. I don't know. Again, I'm having a lot of things where I'm thinking about things today. We've got the little Siamese cat there. I think it is $5. Mm -hmm. And I love this plate. Look at this cheese plate. The little mousy on it. Oh yeah. It's $19.99. But that is adorable to serve it, put a cheese ball on. So I'm thinking about that as well. So I just don't know yet. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna continue walking around to see, check out the other booths. And if I don't end up getting a whole heck of a lot more, then I may just, I may just do it. I may just do it. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome to the haul portion of today's video. Gosh, I love going to Westbury Antique Mall. It's in Bloomington, Indiana. So if you're down in the Southern Indiana area or the Bloomington area, make sure that you stop in. It's, it's, it's just such an amazing mall and it is an antique mall. And guess what? You can find things for great prices in there. Yes, you can. All together, everything that I'm going to show you today, I spent $115 on. So $115 on everything I'm going to show you today. And there are, hmm, well, let's see. I'm going to move this thing aside. There's one thing, well, one thing I'm definitely keeping one thing I'm using for package toppers and one thing I'm sending, actually two things I'm sending to friends. But other than that, everything's for sale. And you can send me an email, thriftyjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. My email is, you know, floating along the screen. It's also in the description of every video that I post is my email address. But this first thing I'm going to show you, I am keeping this. I love these. I have a little collection of these uh, water coolers, I guess they're called, but they're insulated coolers, drink coolers, beverage coolers. This is Olympic insulated thermic jug made in the USA with this, oh, look at the decal on there. Look at her. I love this so much. How much should I even pay for this? It was like a price that surprised me. Where are you at? $10. $10. It has the aluminum lid. Now, I'm not going to use this, 
but I am going to put it up on one of my cabinets with my other ones just use as a decor piece, especially in the summertime. So that I'm keeping. That was a great deal in an antique mall, mind you. All right. Also, I, I bought these little um, cards and I'm going to use them as package toppers. I think I paid a couple dollars for them, but I they're animals. Like there's a poodle. And there's a little, oh, oh, wait a minute. These must be in German. Here's a hund. A hund? Another hund. And a ka kasi. See? It's learning with Misty. An eagle. Eagle. Well, otherwise known as a hedgehog. What else do we have here? Mouse. Mouse. Tiger, quit laughing. I know Tiger. Tiger's sitting there laughing. Oh, my wolf. Malworf. Malworf. That's a fun one to say. Malworf. Otherwise known as a mole. This is ridiculous, but frosh. Frosh. Tiger, are these fun? Birds. I'm not, we're not going to. Oh, Peter Cart. Peter Cart. What even animal is that? A hedgehog? I don't know, but these are going to be package choppers. Those will be package choppers. And then this is a book that I'm sending to a friend. Because I saw this book and I thought, oh, man, this person really needs it. And I kind of want to, this person... Well, let, let's just be honest. Well, no, I'm not going to because I want the person to be somewhat surprised. But this person has a YouTube channel and I want to see them open this and I want to see their reaction to this because this just remind this is just reminds me of them in a nutshell. And leave me a comment down below if you think I know who I'm talking about. But it's someone that I look up to and love so much. But this is the world's tackiest postcards. Now, it said it had a real 45 record RPM record on the inside, but it, it that's no longer there. But the, the, look at, who are you? I don't know. But they, it just has, the graphics in here are just too much. Look at these, these are actual postcards um, of bedpans. And I had a personal favorite in here, Cementland. In Louisiana. Okay, there's a big dinosaur, but look at her face. She's like, uh, I don't think I want to touch this. Hurry up and take the picture. But it's a whole book full of these really fun postcards. But I'm sending this to a friend. Oh, look, they're ready. They work in that shoe store and they're all ready. Look, they've got their shoe horns and they're measuring things for your feet. So I am sending this to a friend. I'm also sending these to a friend um, who also has a YouTube channel, but he, he likes, he likes the Smurfs. So I don't know the fake Smurf and Smurf cake. So those are going to go to a friend of mine. All right. Now everything else I'm going, actually one more thing's going to go to a friend of mine. I bought things for people this trip, but every, then everything else this time sending to a friend. Who do you think? Um, this is the whole story the movie didn't tell of the Hucksters. Um, and it says he got everything a man could want, but he didn't know what he wanted. Not till he met Kay. Cool, blonde, lovely Kay. Then he knew what he wanted, but he didn't know how to get it. And this is the second book because I had sent him this book. And there's part two. Didn't know that, Patrick, but that's coming your way. All right, then the, now everything else, now everything else is available for sale. Um, this book is available for sale. And you can send me an email. I'll let you know if it's still available. But these things will either will be sold through um, you emailing me or through a live sale. But I got this Exploring Science uh, 2 at just an old textbook. This was Stephanie Veach's book. This is probably from, yeah, this is 19, I was going to say six, the 50s. This is from 1960, or this is the copyright of this edition, at least. 
but it has some really nice graphics in it, but it is science. And honestly, these old textbooks, if you were, if you were homeschooling, these are really pretty good. I mean, yeah, some of them are out of date, but I mean, the basics of finding the temperature, they're just broken down very, very easy and easy to understand without all the mumbo and jumbo, but, um, the sun. So I did get this one. And how much did I, I don't remember how much I paid. Not very much. I usually keep my cost of goods on my textbooks pretty low. All right. I also picked up, I like to buy breed specific dogs. I say that a lot. And I did get this. This is, um, made in Japan. Well, this is a little Shih Tzu. Little Shih Tzu. Now, this looks like a big Shih Tzu, but Shih Tzus aren't very big. But there we go. It says Shih Tzu. It's made in Japan. Fun little Shih Tzu figure there. And then I also got this fun pig, also made in Japan. I just, I really liked him. He looks like he's got like a little, like he could be ridden. Like you could ride on him. They put this little rug over him so someone could ride him. But, you know, he's a planter. So we'll put plants in him. But he's a happy pig. Look at him. He's so cute. This little, I always got to show their little pigtails. And then I also got this bird planter. This is a goldfinch. Oh, my finch beaters are just filled with these little guys right now. I love, they're so bright and colorful and cheery. This is a little golden finch. This is Rubens. Florist piece, basically, but in excellent condition. There's no chips on his beaks or anything, so I got him. And then I got this. This was really cool. I love the graphics on it. The my gra the, It's just a cracker tin or biscuit tin. My favorite graphic is that one on the top. Isn't that fun? But it has wheat and kitchen stoves and kitchen supplies and things on it. The lid is an insulated lid. It says this component holds a moisture absorbing material, which normally, which is normally blue, but turns pink when damp. And should then be dried out. To do this, pull this plug out of the lid and hang, it, hang the bag in a warm, dry place to dry it out. Then replace. Well, we're not going to worry about taking that off. But these are just fun to, to put it put up in a display. You know, like you have a jug and then you add this. Just to add a little bit of fun, a little bit of color, and a little bit of kitsch. All right. Um, I got another one of these. I need to start selling these because I've gotten quite a collection of these receipt spikes. Um, and you can tell the age on these a lot of the times that they don't have a screw in the bottom of it. So this one is just, well, the metal, you don't, there's not a screw attaching the metal spike to the metal base. Uh, a lot of people will use these as di for different craft reasons. They'll do Christmas trees and things like that with them. So these are a pretty popular thing, especially around the holidays. So I think that's why I'm kind of like holding on to some because I probably will sell some closer to that time. All right. I got some cups. Well, I got a sh open sugar bowl and a creamer. This is melamine, which is the actual product, not it's not it's the actual product that it's made out of. Um, it go by, goes by different names by manufacturers, but the actual product itself is that. Anyway, this is a turquoise cream and sugar set. And it was $6.50 for the set. That's also available. I do sell these quite often. Typically, I sell these before I even make they even make it to a sale video. People usually email me about those. I really like this thermometer. Now, I have one of these that I actually keep outside on my front porch. Just, I don't know, just so you can see what the temperature is, I guess. But I don't know that this mercury is accurate because it's saying that it's over 120 degrees in here. and It's not, but it's a cute little, I love the font on it. The little Art Deco font on that. It's made in the USA. Sometimes I buy things and I, I, I'm just attracted to the design that's on it. And this Taylor thermometer just was one of those things. All right, I did get a Kokeshi doll. She got a little bobble head. These, I do pretty well with these on eBay. So I'm not quite sure. This one might, I might list this on eBay. Um, she is missing, she's got these little like sticks and she's missing two of them right there. Uh, no other markings on her, but she's made out of wood. She's beautiful in her floral kimono. 
And then I got these guys. These were in, you know, the shop with me a little bit and I, I debated on getting them. And we've got the lighter brown squirrel and the darker brown squirrel. And then this one's my favorite. Oh my gosh. We've got the little chipmunk and look at his little face. Oh, he's so cute. So I picked these three up and you know what? I was <laughs> drawn to these and I was on Sarah, the traveling button. I was on her, one of her Instagram sales and I bought another one. So now I got three. I got twins and well, they're brothers, but these two are twins. So they're just cute. Very cute little anthropomorphic babies. And I got some, the last things I'm going to show you are some art glass that I picked up. I got a clear glass giraffe. Um, this has a sticker that says it's made in Sweden. Um, this is, this booth was, I want to say 75% off. So I got him for a really good price. Just a clear art glass giraffe. And then as well as, it took me a few minutes to figure out what animal this was, but I think that it is a zebra. Let's take off his string. It's a little nuggy zebra, little art glass nuggy zebra. No, no uh, sticker on him, but it's a zebra. You don't see zebras very often. And then I do believe that this is Viking and it is just a clear glass bird. Usually with this pronged tail, they're typically Viking, but um, and it was $5. These look really good in a window, especially if you have a collection of different colored glass and then you just add something clear in it. it. It makes it pop a little bit more. Those are the things that I bought from the Westbury Antique Mall. It was a lot of fun. And I love going in there and just, it's just, it's just a really good place to shop for myself and for resale. But I went to my PO box and I was excited. I'm going to do this too in this video. I just cut it, the, it open. But I got a package here from Liz Retros. What? I got a package from Liz Retros. So I'm like, I can't. Normally I open friend mail on Monday. And I can't. I couldn't wait. So I'm just going to add it to this video. Liz Retros. Liz Retros was the last person that touched this. That's creepy. But, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She sent me a whole slew of maps. I do pretty good with these maps. And a card. It's a Liz Retro card of this, like, Air Air Tay, which is like a um, deco. Here's some vintage maps and a book for you to do as you please. XOXO, Mr. and Mrs. Retros. Okay, so maps. So I, I do pretty well with selling these maps, honestly. We'll look through some of them, but we've got spe Spectacular North Vancouver, Washington. These are old, too. Look at the old cars. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Retros. Washington Highways. Oh, look, Tiger. There's Tiger. Oregon and Washington. The United States Map to VA Facility and Benefits. I want you. That'd be cute for 4th of July. Nevada, Wisconsin, North Dakota. The Metropolitan Los Angeles. Ooh, that might be a good one. Ooh, I like that. So there's a whole slew of maps in here. Western Canada, San Francisco, Oakland. Little pocket map, more mobile, Seattle, and then here's a book. Oh, Jack Russell, Dog Detective. It's Maybell, the lying detective. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a little baby Jack Russell. I love that. Thank you, Liz Retros. You just made my day. Oh, Liz Retros, Mr. Retros. Anyway. Thank you so much for sending these to me. I, I appreciate it more than you know. And it's just such a thrill to see a package with your name on it in my P.O. box. So thank you so much. You guys know I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And thank you guys for watching me talk about these things and be a little silly and all that kind of stuff. I do appreciate it. If there's anything that you're interested in, you can send me an email, thriftyourjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Dun, 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 dun